The latest Frontier Unlocked live stream gave us a bit of a teaser as to what Jurassic World Evolution 2's next species pack will contain. The teaser, in fact, is this set of jaws, which belongs to a prehistoric shark that you may all know, that being the iconic Megalodon, or Otodus Megalodon. Much like Megalania, it got a bit of a change in terms of its name, so it's actually Otodus Megalodon, and with Megalania it's Varanus Priscus. But on the topic of Megalodon, this has been a highly requested lagoon species for many years, basically since lagoons were first announced to be in the game. And yeah, it, it's very exciting, as this is an animal we thought we were going to get the prehistoric marine species pack, but that turned out to be Dunkleosseus. So, there are many different DLC ideas that Megalodon could fit into, and today we're going to discuss just a few of them. Megalodon fits well in a certain Zerg species pack as it is from this era, from the Pliocene, and is a very cool headliner. I will say, a shark for a headliner of a pack is a very good idea. However, there is another animal that would be a, a perfect fit for a headliner, and the one after it as well. They're just that iconic. But this one is the last remaining of the Camp Cretaceous species, that being Smilodon. Introduced in Camp Cretaceous Season 4, it is the last Camp Cretaceous species after the Nothosaurus in the Prehistoric Marine Species Pack last August, the Cretaceous Predator Pack from December, oh wait, no, November, my apologies, and the Secret Species Pack that we got in March. And there is another animal that was also mentioned in Camp Cretaceous, that being the Siberian Woolly Mammoth. And as iconic as animals go, mammoths are, are certainly up there. And it would be a cool herbivore slot for this pack as it is probably the most obvious one. Another predator though is the terror bird. There are various species but Titanus is one of the most famous and this animal would certainly be a great addition however it does seem like there's a bit of an overdose of predators here so we could potentially change out the Titanus for a Megatherium aka a giant ground sloth. I am sure Best in Slot would really appreciate that, this addition and it would be a really cool animal to introduce it would have Similarly unique fighting animations to that of an Iguanodon, and yeah, I would just love to see it. With the potential of there being many Cenozoic Predators in this pack, Megalodon, Smilodon, and Titanus could all make up a Cenozoic Predator pack, but what could fill that last slot? There are many mammal options, of course, like, say, a Dire Wolf, aka an Asion, or a Deodon, or an Andrew Sarkis. However, one of my favourite picks is that of Megalania, as I think this pack, including a reptile, would be a very diverse selection, including the fish, the mammals, the birds, and the, the reptiles. I think this would be a very cool pack to show the diversity of predators during the Cenozoic. Another, which is actually one of my favourite ideas, uh, I saw Evolution Square mention this one. It was called a Titans pack, however. When I think of Titans, I think of Godzilla. But in this case, the Giant Species Pack, which is a makeshift name, Titan Pack, Titan Species Pack is a much better name. But, so it did seem like I copied. The, the roster that was se selected is perfection. Like, not, not gonna lie, the roster is superb. We got the Megalodon, Argentinosaurus, Shantugosaurus, and Hatsugopteryx. I just wanna say, if this pack were to happen, I would love it, as these are all creatures that I, I really want to see in the game. Megalodon is somewhat guaranteed now, although it could be another prehistoric shark, however, given they made such a big deal of it, I think it is Megalodon. But these three other prehistoric reptiles, they would be fantastic. Hatsugotrix has slowly become my favourite of the pterosaurs. Argentinosaurus is a very large sauropod that I've wanted to see in evolution for a long time, and Shantagosaurus based on my experience in the Isle, is a very cool species and could actually introduce the fighting mechanic to many hadrosaurs. But let me know what you think of this pack. I think this pack would be a really cool addition. On a similar size ratio, we've got the big and small species pack. So this contains two large animals and two very small ones, one of which would be a very nice surprise as it is the last remaining canonical species from the films. So we have Megalodon, we have Argentinosaurus, but we also have the much requested Microceratus. This animal is and has been requested since the first evolution because 
It was an animal that was on the official Jurassic World website. But yeah, Microceratus has got to come into the game at some point. It just, it just has to, please. I really want to see this guy, and I know a lot of other people do as well. And for an Avery slot, we've got Micro Raptor, a very unique Avery edition, as this is a small primitive bird like Dinosaur that I think would be a, a major addition to the Averys, as it would be one of the first animals that could possibly walk. Unless if we got the Hatsugotrix and other pterosaurs in the Flying Species Pack, they gave that one the ability to walk. But hey, we'll have to wait and see. But this pack would also be pretty cool. And of course, the last pack um, is like fan favorites, highly requested species pack. So that, that this would probably only happen if this was like the last DLC, just to get give the fans the four species that they want. But Megalodon fits in here, Smilodon fits in here, Hatsugotrix fits in here, as it is, I think, the highest requested flying species. Unless Microraptor is, I don't know. And Microceratus, of course, is highly requested as well. But let me know what you think. Do you think Frontier would ever do a highly requested species pack? Let me know down below. But yeah, those are just the ideas I have. I'm, uh, yeah, Cenozoic species pack is my favorite idea, but a giant species pack or Titan species pack would be one of my favorites as well, as I think that's just a cool name and a very cool concept. And yeah. If you have any other ideas as to what these jaws could lead to, leave the, your thought, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Sorry for my stutter. Um, it's been a long day today, <laughs> trying to get this video made. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.